Maine App, the National Association of Non-Associated People, is proud to bring you this message. The message goes out to Jeffrey Jackson, a member of the governing body of Jobs Witnesses. As we know, the Royal Commission on Australia is hearing a case about the child sex abuse scandal within the congregations in Australia, Jehovah's Witnesses. As you can see here in Channel 9 News in Australia, mentioned how Mr. Jackson was in Australia and declined to be a witness at the Royal Commission. The reason stated is, number one, Jeffrey Jackson, who was in Australia for private compassionate matters, would not be able to give relevant evidence. We all, as Jehovah's Witnesses, know that that is a flat-out lie. Number two, as Mr. Jackson's role in the church was translation, it was unlikely he could help in any way, Mr. Tokley said. We, as Jehovah's Witnesses, know that is an outright, outright lie. Mr. Jackson, I cannot be silent anymore. I cannot be silent in regards to this issue especially. When I meet Jesus, I will say that I was moved by the example of John the Baptist to openly and publicly speak out on this issue of protecting child predators. I will not hide behind an anonymous e uh, website criticizing you, nor will I hide behind an anonymous organization protecting you and child predators. Mr. Jackson, you are one of seven members of the governing body and ecclesiastical class of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. I remember in second grade when I was uh, graded on reading comprehension. Jeffrey Jackson, words mean things. You are a member of the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses and the ecclesiastical class of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. You and you alone are the only person in Australia that can help the more than 1,000 victims of child molestation. There is not one single person in Australia that can answer the questions the Royal Commission, Commission has. You mentioned you were in Australia for private compassionate matters. Need I remind you of the words of Jesus Christ when he said, Let the dead bury the dead? Now, today, is the time to take action and protect children from sexual predators. Jeffrey Jackson, do I also need to remind you of the example Jesus gave us to imitate? Because it seems to me that you were absent at the district convention in the year 2015. Imitate Jesus. When in John chapter 8, in verse 4, when they were coming to arrest Jesus, Jesus therefore knowing all the things coming upon him, he went forth and said to them, Whom are you looking for? They answered him, Jesus the Nazarene. He said to them, I am he. Now, Judas was his betrayer. He was also standing with them. However, when he said to them, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Therefore, he asked them again, Whom are you looking for? They said, Jesus the Nazarene. Jesus answered, I told you, I am he. Why, Jeffrey? Why, Jeffrey, did you not imitate Jesus? Why did you not stand up and protect the children from child predators? Plus, in verse 8 and 9, it goes on and reminds us where Jesus says, If therefore it is I you are looking for, let these go in order that the words might be fulfilled in which he said, Of those whom you have given me, I have not lost a single one. You have acted contrary to Jesus, and you have sent the lowly ones to be slaughtered by the royal commission. Instead of imitating Jesus and saying, I am he, you have fled and you have hidden. You have shown beyond any shadow of a doubt that you are not a brother of Jesus Christ. What brother sends his little brothers to the royal commission only to be slaughtered? How can you be imitating Jesus when the Royal Commission wants to talk to you? How true are the words of King David when he said, I do not sit with men of untruth and with those who hide what they are. You remain silent and anonymous when you are presented the opportunity to speak in defense of the truth. This is why in my Declaration of Independence, which I mailed to you, I wrote, it says, never in the course of history has a group of men so abandoned their duty to give testimony of God's Son. Let the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York and Pennsylvania, Inc., and Jeffrey Jackson 
stand in memoriam for all ages or system of things, for the dereliction of duty of invoking the greatness of Christ. All of you men who hide what you are, whether you are a current Jehovah's Witness or even you ex-Jehovah's Witnesses who wish to speak out like Peter, Paul, and John the Baptist, all of you follow the cowardly example set forth by the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses. You are from the fold of your father. Your father is the absent one. Your father is the silent one. Your father is the anonymous one. Jeffrey Jackson. How fitting the words of Daniel. This is the interpretation of the word mene. God has numbered the days of your kingdom and has finished it. To Kel, you have been weighed in the balance and you have been found deficient. Never again do I ever want to hear the words, do not bring reproach to Jehovah's name. Type the words Jehovah's Witnesses in Google News, and this is what you'll get. Jeffrey Jackson, you have brought more reproach to God's name than any teenage member of any congregation. Jesus spoke of your hypocrisy when he said that you look at the straw in the eyes of teenage boys and teenage girls. You look at the straw in the eyes of single mothers, but you do not see the rafter in the eyes of the pedophile elders and the elders that protect pedophile men, nor the rafter in the eyes of the legal department of Jehovah's Witnesses who protect these men, and the rafter in the eyes of all the members of the governing body and ecclesiastical class of Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, because you stick to the perverted, twisted understanding of the two witness rule. I pray to God, Jeffrey, that all the wives of the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses see this video. That way, these women can truly know the type of men they sleep with each night. Men who for decades have ignored the cries of the least, the helpless, and the indefensible ones of Christ's little brothers. That is my message to you, Jeffrey Jackson. Gilbert Gonzalez, Phoenix, Arizona, 7th Street in Osborne. No, anon no anonymity here. I am Gilbert Gonzalez. I am Mary Francis Ackley, and, and we, we approve, approve this, message. this message. Nonoi, the National Organization of Non-Organized Individuals, is a proud sponsor of jwcrisis.org.